with basic uh, natural materials. So come with me, let's go and do these activities together. materials together to make homemade brushes so I'm going to take my pine needles put a whole bunch together just like this and I'm going to use an elastic band to tie them together there I have a pine needle paintbrush now I'm going to do the same thing with sticks I collected a few sticks here. I'm going to put them together and put a elastic band around it. Children, you can ask your parents for help with this part. It might be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. I'm gonna use this to paint on a piece of paper later on, okay? So I actually found these um, natural materials on the ground. I'm going to put them together to make another paintbrush. Again, you want to use an elastic band and wrap it nicely around your materials. And that will be your paintbrush. So um, I put some paint, acrylic paint, which is washable on a plate and I have my natural paint brushes. I'm using a tree as a natural easel. So I'm going to be dipping my paint brushes in paint and let's get started. I'm gonna go with my pine needles first. Let's see what we can do with sticks. This is what a tree bark looks like when you trace the patterns on your paper. Next, I'm gonna go and trace a rock.
what a rock looks like when you do a pattern. I'm gonna go back there and trace those fences. Follow me. I'm going to read a story to you called Stella, Queen of the Snow. Isn't it beautiful, Sam? asked Stella. It is very white, said Sam, and it makes me sort of dizzy. Come on, Sam, said Stella. Let's go outside. Is the snow cold? asked Sam. Is it hard and icy? Snow is as cold as vanilla ice cream answered Stella. 
and as soft as baby rabbit fur. Can you eat a snowflake? asked Sam. Polar bears do, answered Stella. They eat snowflakes for breakfast. Yum! With milk? asked Sam. Yeah, said Stella, and sugar. Let's make a snowman, Sam, said Stella. But where does a snowman sleep? asked Sam. In a soft, fluffy snowbank, answered Stella. What does a snowman eat? asked Sam. Snowballs, sang Stella, snow peas and snow suits. Do snowmen eat green snow suits? asked Sam. No, they only eat pink ones. Hmm, are you sure? asked Sam. Let's go skating on the pond, said Stella. Where is the water? said Sam. The water is frozen, said Stella, like a giant silver popsicle. Are the frogs frozen too? asked Sam. No, they're sleeping under the ice. Come on, Sam, put on your skates, said Stella. Not right now, said Sam. I'm listening to the frogs snore. Hey, said Sam, why is fog coming out of my mouth? When it's cold, said Stella, your words freeze. Every word has a different fog shape. See? I can't read yet, said Sam. Then let's build a fort, said Stella. Where does snow come from? asked Sam. Where does snow go in the summer? How many snowflakes are in a snowball? I don't know, Sam, said Stella. <sighs> Come and help me. Just a minute, Sam. I'm counting the snowflakes. Just a minute, said Sam. I'm counting the snowflakes. Let's climb this mountain, said Stella. Why, said Sam, what for? Then we'll slide down, said Stella. Will we go very fast, asked Sam. Faster than a bird, sang Stella. Faster than an airplane. Will we be able to stop, said Sam. Stop, who wants to stop? asked Stella. Come on, hop on. I think I'll walk down, said Sam. Do dogs get cold? asked Sam. No, said Stella. Dogs wear fur coats. Do birds get goosebumps? asked Sam. No, said Stella. Birds wear snow boots. Like mine? asked Sam. Yes only much smaller. Let's make snow angels, said Stella, with wide feathery wings. Do snow angels fly? asked Sam. Do snow angels sing? Of course, said Stella. Can't you hear them? Yes, I can hear them, whispered Sam. The end.